Welcome to the video guys, I'm Alex, one half of the Honest Entrepreneurs. Today I'm going to be coming at you with three tips for product research. It's going to be a quick video, we're getting in, we're getting out. We're going to try and do more of these actionable, quick tip video type type things. We really need a name, you know, other, other YouTube channels, they have like a cool name for this sort of stuff and we're not very imaginative. So if you got an idea for a name of these little, little quick five, six minute videos, Give us a shout, you know, we, we, we could name it after you if it's good enough. Before I get into the video on the content, I just wanted to say that we have a new Facebook group. The link is in the description. Please join it, join the community. Um, Tom and I are going to be posting in there, trying to help people out. Um, it'd be great if we, could, we, if we could grow the group. Secondly, please like and comment and subscribe and all that jazz. Like, it means a lot to us when we get comments and, we, you know, we, we love to like, interact and we really want to know what type of videos people want to see. So if you have an idea, if, if it's a product research, if it's about sourcing products, if it's about launches, we'll try and help you with the experience that we've got so far from selling on Amazon. But we, if, if nobody comments in the videos, which... Sadly, nobody does. Now, nah, sometimes they do, that's a lie. You know who you are, Tom's mum. If nobody comments in the videos, then, um, then we don't really know. We're just guessing what kind of content people like. So please like, subscribe, and leave an idea for the next video. So to dive into the video, the first tip of the day is do not only look in one market. This is something that I see all the time, and you see it especially with people from the UK. People from the UK assume that they have to sell within the UK. There's nothing wrong with the UK market, but it's very small. It's very small compared to the dot-com market. You're essentially trying to take a small slice of a small pie. What you can do in the US is you can take a small slice of a huge pie. There's a lot more products, there's a lot more demand in all of the different niches, um, and we just find it easier to find products that realistically we think we can launch, but also you can find niches where there's just overall a lot more demand. But don't only look at the UK market. If you're in Germany, don't just look at the German market. They might be big for Europe and you have the other added benefits of fulfillment and all that stuff, but don't rule out the other markets. Tip number two, look for niches and don't look for products. So what I mean by this, what I mean by this is when you're actually looking at a product, take into account, how can I expand beyond this just, just this one product within this niche? Now, an example here of, of, of what I'm talking about is... Um, this is a company called Joseph Joseph. Like you might have heard of it, it's a pretty big brand, I think. But you can see the power that they have when they're everywhere in the kitchen and dining niche. You know, so they do rolling pins, they do uh, utensils, they do this weird like toaster looking thing, whatever that is. Um, so you know, they do pretty much no matter what you're looking for within within the kitchen and dining is you see their brand. Obviously, that doesn't happen overnight, but you can actually have just incredible returns in, in, from, from individual products that stack up instead of just trying to find this one killer product that's going to bring in all of your revenue. So if your goal is perhaps to make $5,000 a month profit, you're thinking, oh, maybe I need to do $15,000 a month in revenue. It's easier to do that from multiple products than it is from one. And if those products are in the same niche, that just makes it even easier because people see one, they buy the other. And on top of that, if those products complement each other, then you're on, you're off to a winner. And then you're opening up all of these different channels. You can start a Shopify site. You can start building an actual brand instead of just launching individual products where you're trying to just trying to knock it out of the park with that one product. To go back to my original point of looking in the different markets, this is the dot com market, and you can see Joseph and Joseph, Joseph and Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. You can see here, obviously, they're doing a ton of revenue. This is in dot com market, tons of products. Um, and then if we switch over to the UK market, they're in the UK market as well. So they're all the same products. They're selling them across, you know, across the different different markets, but they just dominate this niche. Um, obviously that's not easy to do. It takes time. This is a big company, but you can do that in smaller niches. This is why we like the dot com market because you can find those smaller niches that are small in the US market, but relative to other markets, they're actually still quite big. So the third tip is look for niches where the quality of the listings overall isn't that great. So one thing that I don't really hear people talking about a lot is looking at the actual quality of the listings 
for the for the main keyword or the top or, or the products that you're trying to go into or the niche. So let's take the earbuds um, niche for example, right? These are you know we all know what earbuds are. They're the, you know the everybody seems to have a pair now. If you take a look at the quality of the average listing, it's mega high. Like the photos are great. They've all got videos. Um, pretty much everyone that you click on, the the quality is just just amazing. I mean, obviously this is Apple, you're competing against them. But this is one thing that Tom and I, we look at very closely. We don't just look at, you know, how can we change the product? Yeah, of course, that's great. If you can enter a niche and you can change the product and improve on the product, then you're, you know, you've got a good chance. But realistically, that's not that easy to do. A lot of the time it costs a lot of money. It takes a lot of time and effort. So when you're looking at a niche, remember, look at the quality of the listings. We like to judge listings and we give them a 10 out of 10 score. So if Tom comes to me, this is, I found this niche, I found this product that I'm looking at. We'll go in there, we'll look at the top five or six listings that are making the most money. And we'll realistically say, do we think we can make a better listing than these guys? If the answer is no, it honestly puts us off because it's one of the biggest ways you can stand out on Amazon. Like look at the, these are just quality, quality, um, super professional, a lot of money has gone in, gone into sort of investing in these listings. Um, the vast majority of them have this EBC content. Um, it's just difficult to compete if the competition have just such high quality listings. So that's it for today, guys. It was a quick one, like I said. We're trying to do more of these videos, more of these quick uh, tidbit, tidbit Tuesday maybe? No, I don't, I, I don't think that makes sense. Do you say tidbit outside of the UK? Let, let me know in the comments if you understand what tidbit is. Probably do, and I look stupid, but. So yeah, we're trying to do more videos, we're trying to do more content, we're, 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 we're hitting the ground running in 2021. We, we've got big things coming with the YouTube channel, we're trying to put out content, you know, we're enjoying doing this, um, but we've got a lot of plans for new products, and you know, we're gonna be documenting it, we're gonna be showing you guys the highs, the lows, um, when we're popping champagne because the product has gone well, when we're, um, when we're arguing because it's not going well. <laughs> Um, so yeah, get involved, you know, become part of the Facebook group, um, let us know what you want to see next, um, and I'll see you in the next video.